So welcome all of you. So today I will give you an idea about the curve blocks in Tinkercad. So I will click this curve blocks. So first of all, you have to log in in Autodesk Tinkercad. And when you log in, you can see these are the three options, 3D design. You can do 3D design. You can do, do circuiting and uh, you can do the squad blocks. So I will click the squad blocks and here uh, you can see an option create new quad blocks. Just click this. When you will click this quad blocks, you can see a small window. So here you can see starter designs. So this is for your practice. Okay, you, you, you can practice this with the help of this examples. Table, rocket to Mars, basket, brick, etc. So these are some examples, 15 examples. Okay, you can just click and you can, you can practice it. Okay, so if you want to create a new design, so you, you can click new design, click this new design. Yeah. When you click this new design, so here in the left side, uh, uh, here I will change uh, the name into uh, my new file. Okay, so I will change the name like this. And in the left side, you can see some options, shapes, modify, control, math, data, and markup. Okay, so in this video, I will explain this shapes option. Okay, so shapes is actually used to create different shapes. Okay, if you want to create a box, you can just click and drag it. Okay, and you can adjust the width, length, height, etc. So if uh, if this is the default values, I will click the play button such that you can see the the block, the box. If you want to change the width into say hundred, and then click this play button, you can see the width is. Uh, uh, changed into 100 millimeter and if you want to change the length into 50 you can see the length so this is the width and this is the length if you want to change the height into say 70 and you can click this okay so in this way you can uh, you can create shapes so this is an example if you want to delete this block just right click and delete block okay then i will take the second one the cylinder click this play button you can see the cylinder you can adjust the radius say 25 you can adjust the radius okay you can adjust the height say 100 okay you can increase the height etc so i will right click and delete this block and next is the sphere okay so i will click the play button you can see the sphere if you want to change the radius you can change the radius into 30, say, click the play button. So this is the play button and you can see the sphere. Just right click this and delete the block. Then uh, roof, okay, I will drag this, click the play button, you can see the roof. You can increase the length to say, I will increase the length to 50. You can see the length is increased to 50. I will delete this block. Then the next is corn. Okay, so I will click the play button. You can see the con top radius is zero. If if I will change the top radius to 20 and the bottom radius to 50, you can see you will get the first structure. So I will right click at this and delete. And next is the round roof. Okay, click the play button, you can see the round roof. Okay, I will delete this. Then text. Okay. So here I will change the text into high. Okay. So you can see this is high. So here you can see this high. So I will right click this and delete. Then next is the wedge. Okay. So here you can see the wedge. Right click and delete then pyramid okay so you can see the pyramid number of sides as four say number of sides as five we will get the pentagon number of size six you will get the hexagon 
number of signs heptagon eight octagon like that you can adjust i will right click this and delete this block the next is half sphere you can see the half sphere then polygon okay so if you want to change the side into four you will get a prism square prism then next is paraploid okay so here you can see the paraploid you can change the radius height size etc so if i will change the radius into 25 you can see like this and this is very simple then next is torus okay so here you can see the torus okay the radius so i will change the radius okay i will right click this and delete the next is tube so here you can see you will get the tube i will right click this and delete then hurt so and star okay so the number of sides is five if if i will change the number of sides into six you can see the number of sides as six okay like that you can change then next is star okay so you can change the, the sides into say seven okay you can see the number of sides is seven so in this way you can you can create different shapes with the help of this shapes option i hope it's clear the shape the shape option in the code book so here if you want to export this i will click this export and here if you want to 3d print it you can click this dot stl such that you will get the stl file so that you can see this is my stl file you can 3d print it or you want to share this okay okay so here animated gif click animated gif and you can see so this is here you can see this is the animated gif If you want to take the screenshot, you can click the screenshot option. Okay, here I will cancel this. So in this way, you can create different types of shapes with the help of this, this shapes option in Tinkercad Core Blocks. Thank you.